I'm going to call the license hearing and public safety meeting to order. Roll call. Alderperson Barb Feldy, I am here. Uh, Dean Decker? Here. Alderperson Joe Heideman? Here. Alderperson Amanda Salazar? Here. And Betty Ackley uh, may be late or excused. Pledge of Allegiance, stand if you're able. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're going to go around and um, we'll start with Dean and wrap around the table to um, Attorney Adams. Um, introduction of community members. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm going in. Yeah, starting with you. Go ahead. I'm Alderperson Dean Decker from District 6. Uh, Alderman Joe Heidemann, District 10. Uh, Alderperson Amanda Salazar, District 3. Alderperson Barb Feldy, District 1, and Chair of the Common Council. Kathy Hoffman, City Attorney's Office. Denise Quashis, um, representative for Stefano and Whitney Bigaletti tonight. Jeff Salzman, Assistant Fire Chief. Eric Macchiano, Fire Chief. Chuck Adams, City Attorney. All right. Um, I need approval for the minutes of June 8, 2022. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion approved. Okay, we're going to have a presentation um, for regarding the new fire department engine 2021 um, capital improvement presentation only. All right, take it away, Chief. Right. So thank you, Chair. So um, if it's okay with you and the committee members, I'd like to defer that to the end. After you're done, uh, we did uh, bring the engine here. It's uh, just parked at the station one parking lot. So just a hop, skip and a jump away or a little roll. And um, we'd love for you guys to see it if you uh, have time right after the meeting. No, no driving <laughs> needed. Um, but I do want to say, yeah, I, do, uh, I do want to say thank you truly for all the support. I know there were different members some of you are on there, so thank you for that. But I really, really appreciate on behalf of the fire department all the support this committee gives us. So thank you for that. Um, Dave and I were in a car accident last night, so we got to see your guys in action again. <laughs> they didn't tell me. Really? Well, I didn't tell them that that you didn't. I was on the city council. No. Mm. It was a three car, and we were it was car, so no damage, and nobody was injured in the accident. But fire truck came. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, that's twice within the it last is, year is, I've let's, used Let's that not make it a, a triple, a, huh? No, no. Okay, that was, we'll do the presentation then at the end. If, so if technically, you, if it's outside and since we have to record, it'll be after the meeting. So okay. if there's anything you need to say on the record, probably do it oh, now. Oh, yeah. If all you're doing is showing the yeah. truck, everybody can look at it. Yep, nothing oh. on the, other than my thanks on the record, right? Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. On to number seven, resolution number 31, 2223, 6 2022, a resolution authorizing entering into an agreement for urban search and rescue emergency response services with the state of Wisconsin Department of Military Affairs Division of Emergency Management with regard to providing city of Sheboygan personnel to a statewide urban search and rescue team. Yep, thank you, Chair. Okay. So um, the Wisconsin State uh, Task Force or the Urban Search and Rescue as it's referred to here is basically a readiness team that can respond throughout the states or uh, nationwide and in some cases internationally uh, during uh, an event of a disaster or crisis. Um, if you all recall the uh, Florida a condominium collapse that happened uh, several months ago. That would be an example if our team were deployed there, uh, the state could respond there for assistance and aid since that would be like a long period uh, of time that uh, help was needed. Hurricane Katrina, those kind of events. 
Um, the team was active several years ago, then due to budgetary and changes in the dynamics of the legislature, the team uh, was put on hiatus. Uh, the governor has given his support um, to bring it back up and running. So Assistant Chief Salzman is uh, uh, a part of that team. Um, so what this is and what I'm requesting of you, uh, you should have all had the contract. It looks like this, the Urban Search and Rescue. Uh, and there was a couple highlights in there without any names in there. That's because this is almost a request uh, uh, in order to be put on a team. The attorneys had to approve this contract, which uh, our attorney office, it's a statewide contract. Uh, so they read through it, had really no major issues with it. We can't change it anyways, because it's a state contract. Um, however, there's no name in our municipality section because I have to get approved for you to get it to council so I can get it to the state cart before horse. <laughs> uh, but it's just the process that this team in the state has for this. So once, if you guys approve and allow us to uh, become members, our, our department members would also be trained by the state at no cost. So even though it's a cost right now for us to send them, it's all reimbursable. So there's no cost to the city or department. And then if they were deployed, there would be no cost to the city or department, even though, I mean, we would pay, obviously, their salary would never change over time for ship coverage would happen, but then the state reimburses us because we are members of the team. So it really is a phenomenal program for us because it gets our individuals trained to a higher level when it comes to building collapse, trip, uh, confined space, trench, oh, and- flooding. Flooding, took water, water risk. Yep. Uh, so all the gamut really paid by the state, but it helps us because then we have team members here that can help when we have a disaster or issue in, in the city. Um, and then it's all reimbursable, even the ship coverage. So Jeff, do I have anything you want to add on that? No, I think you hit everything. It, it, I think the real big benefit is it brings a lot of expertise inside the city so that if we, if we have an event here, while we, we're not the whole team, at least we have people here that understand what's going on and how to organize those things. And as the people come in, then, then we'd be able to react better. Um, so uh, I'm looking for support. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I would be glad to answer. Yeah. What's the total number of members of the team? So statewide, they're looking at, okay. So when it was first active, there was about 105, correct? Uh, yeah, there are five. There's different typings. So there's types one through four. A type three team is 105 members. Yep. And the reason for that is you work in 12 hour shifts. So they can work for 12 hours and then take 12 hours off. They're gonna be trying to move it up to a type two, which is capable of a 24 hour operation. So it'd be 210 members. Right now we're trying to get to the 105 first and then- Across the state. Across, across the state. state. From yeah. any fire departments, yep, statewide. How many from our fire department? So, um, because we would need to be an additional, like a new member. Uh, currently, we're trying to get two, which is what our, our, we feel is our good number right now. Uh, Jeff would be a third, but he is more of a administrative aspect of that, which you need, you know, to be able to di give direction and all that. Kind of like what we do at the fire station on a daily basis. He would be able to be deployed as that kind of command role at a deployment. Uh, so we're we're looking for two members right now through this round. And eventually when they get to that type two, we would hope to add uh, two to three more. Uh, what they're trying to do statewide is kind of um, equal things out. They don't, they don't want the Milwaukee's, the Madison's, the Green Bay's to have all the players and that's it. They want it truly to be a statewide. So Green Bay may, even though they have a large department, may not have more than 10 people, uh, individuals on it, on the team, even though they have a larger pool. Milwaukee, you know, same with that aspect. So they're trying to uh, equal it out amongst everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. Other questions. So then, Manitowoc could have two, Final Act could have two. Is there any um, uh, determination on what size the community has to be? And it, are there any uh, volunteer firefighters that are involved in this at the same time? So, good question. Absolutely no bearing on the size of community or department other than 
the number of personnel that may be capped. If all the departments in the state want, want to be players in this, then they will cap the department. So again, not, not all the, the members come from one area or one large department. Right. So they would cap that. If, if a volunteer or career departments don't, aren't interested in participating, then our numbers could go up because we're interested. Green Bay's or Milwaukee's, Madison's, those, they can go up as well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but it is all over the state. Um, they are looking at also developing a regional, regionalized team. So for various areas of the state, those teams might be deployed first there and then before you reach out. I think I read in there when I was reading through it, uh, some places said five to seven, you know, that, that seems like almost a cap there that there, and I'm sure you don't want to leave your own fire department shorthanded right. trying to cover. Right, because they could be deployed for two weeks right. at a stretch. Right. Yeah, Green Bay right now has about 10 spots. They only have three members because of through attrition, retirements, uh, because this was put on hiatus for so long. Um, so that's what I mean. They may not end up getting those 10 back because more departments want to be part, part of it. But, uh, but yes, volunteers, combination, career, any fire department throughout the state is eligible to be part of it. It's all based on if they're willing to be, be parties and players. So thank you for asking. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, I just think this is a really good idea. I mean, yeah. just the, the training itself is, and plus being, you know, it, it, when you have a disaster, disaster, you need, you know, a team to be able to do something like that. You end up with a building collapse or something like that. You have to have a team. So it's great that, you know, that, that, that it's offered. It's a good idea. I think it's good that we're, that we're part of it. That we become part of it. I'm sorry, just one other. Okay, so the people that you had, uh, for the city of Sheboygan, the, the uh, members of your fire department, mm -hmm. are they senior members of the fire department? Are they, you know, because all of a sudden then we're rotating, it's like Green Bay doesn't have anybody in there. So we wouldn't want to have a situation where, I suppose within your command or whatever, you have somebody that's already going to rotate into that spot once that other person retires. So we never lose. Them. So um, I can't speak about, about never losing that because when somebody retires, they haven't determined yet if they're going to go back to that department first to say, hey, you have a member retiring. Do you want to, do you have anybody to replace them? That's what they're leaning towards, but they don't know. It depends on how many of the uh, state fire departments are interested in participating. Because if they only allot, like Green Bay and, and Appleton and, and La Crosse, the bigger departments, if they only stick with their numbers, then you're not going to get a lot of new people in from right. other departments. And so that's part of the governor's request was we want a statewide. Right. But, but what, kind of what I was getting at was, so uh, since you, you have personnel that are going to be assigned to it, if you have a guy that's retiring in two years, you wouldn't you wouldn't assign them to that because we don't automatically lose it. So if you're looking at somebody that has a little longer tenure. A little them. middle of the road. AC yeah. Salzman's got a plan. Uh, if we get the four or the, the five allotment, yes, he's got a plan. We want a little bit of seniority, but not too much. Right. So we'll have a captain in it. Uh, we're going to have another lieutenant possibly go through. We didn't want all officers. So then we want a couple firefighters who are interested. Right. But we didn't want somebody that just started two years ago either because we still want them to develop here in the city and learn our department. So it is a mix. I think that's good career development and opportunity for your current staff. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yep, for so, sure. I think this is a good idea. Right. Any other questions? All right, this was, was it discussion? No, we have to pass oh, this yeah. to go to the council. Yeah, please. Okay, I need a motion, please. I make a motion that we uh, pass this on to the council. Okay. Second. All right, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. And chair votes aye. Passes. Thank you for your support. Yeah, thank Always. you. Always. All right. Number eight, discussion. Better go from talk, sorry. <laughs> discussion and possible action regarding request from from alcohol beverage license number 2373, the Duke of Devon, for an extension under the city's continuation of business ordinance. So Denise is here just to make the request. Basically, this is a license that will very shortly be in violation. They actually might it might have run out between the time that they applied and 
and the time you were able to meet. But in any case, it's they're good for you to to uh, extend it if you want. Uh, as noted, typically what you do is you extend it for between 30 to 90 days, although it can be longer uh, if you want to do that. Um, it would technically begin July 1, uh, just because that's the license year and you can't extend past a license year, but we're good to go with that. Um, and they can provide you any information or you can ask questions if you want. It's totally up to you. Uh, so would you like to speak first or? Can I can have talk all you want. <laughs> or just have them ask the questions. And yeah, I mean, I think um, getting the store up and running has been our primary focus over the last uh, several months, and that's been very successful. And I know that the plan for the Duke is unfolding and taking shape now. Um, so that's our our next, we've shifted our focus onto that. Um, so we're getting pieces put in place for that. And if they have any questions about where we are, or those types of things, I can answer what I know um, off the top of my head. Dean has a question. I, yeah, of course. <laughs> that, 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 I guess that is my question is where are we? What are, you, what are we looking at as a time frame? Mm -hmm. uh, are we either looking at months? Six months, so, three months. Yes. Yeah, so I think month? so. Oh, you the, put a time frame in the letter. Yeah, Whitney okay. outlined that in the letter. Um, she said that they that we would like to be open by September. Um, right now, we have just interviewed a couple of chefs, and you know we're trying to put the rest of the staffing pieces in place. Um, what we want to do there, we have a very good foundation for. Um, I think it's definitely going to be starting out more as a venue location where we are going to host events and those types of things. Um, and then um, as we get the rest of the staffing pieces put in place, then we will be able to um, go back to um, running that as a full restaurant again. Um, so by, se by September, that's when we really do want to open. And then um, I think she's asked to extend at least through November, just in case anything happens. I think what we learned with the store is nothing ran as smoothly as we thought it was going to, um, but that's the goal right now. So. The pieces are starting to fall in place. There's just still some, some pieces. We want to do some construction around the building and those types of things. So, just one thing I just want to mm -hmm. um, make sure that you understand because we did have this run into this with one other applicant in the past. Mm -hmm. So, the open for business ordinance does require that you're open to the public. Mm -hmm. So, private events mm -hmm. won't count against that. So, okay. is your but is your November 15th date? That's your yes. We will be for being fully open. run. Fully staffed, and, and I, yes, that is the plan, and hopefully that's by September, um, if not sooner. But that's that's the goal. So, um, it's kind of both of you. So, uh, when does the license run out? Wait, what? So, right, 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 like right now. Right, now. right now. Yeah. Okay, so today. Yeah, I, I don't know the I'm exact. Just, I'm just gonna say today. I don't think we knew the exact. Okay, well, this week, yeah. sometime, yeah. end of June. So we say three months from now, we're looking at August, September, October, you're asking till November 15th as an additional 15 days. So we're asking for so if you 100 just, in five days. Um, I would ask for 120 days if I can. I will take the length that you can give me, essentially. If it's three months, it's three months. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's longer that. than that. Well, I feel like we should be fair. It's a policy decision for you. You've typically done 30 to 90 days, but sometimes yeah. you've done longer. I would think 90 days should get you there. If that's what the council is willing to give us, we'll take what we can get. I will always that's err on the side of asking for more than, than I need because I just yeah. know going through the store that um, sometimes unforeseen things happen and you have to and correct. So. That is really smart, right? Yeah. But I think we have to be sort of um, consistent and equitable to all those coming in asking for extensions yep. and then our consistent standard has been 30 to 90 days. That's what we should And I would ask for 90. I would be okay with 90. Yep. That one question. So, Thank you. I agree, I agree with the 90 days. Yep. No problem there. So just so I make sure that I understand. So does that, that, does that mean that she has to hold events or open it within those 90 days to keep that? Mm -hmm. So that please do that. By September 30th, yes. they would have to be open to the public for a public. Yes. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. She's going to go check it out. Oh, I think that was the. Okay. I, and again, I emphasize please do that. Because the last thing we want to go through is somebody telling us they had an open event 
that they didn't have an old event and then it, it just didn't work right, okay? Yeah. Understood. Yeah. I, I concur with Joe on that and don't wait till <laughs> September 30th to have the open event. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> steps were, were just interviewed and okay. so things are progressing okay. again just having gone through all everything oh, with the store, I know that yeah. there are a myriad of things that can happen that they, you have to make adjustments for. So, but my communication back to Whitney and Stefano will be, hey, by the 30th, we've got to be up and running. So, or we risk losing the license and have to go through the, another application process. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. So do we give 90 days right from- uh, And when does that 90 days? It would actually be from July 1st, because you can't cross yeah. a year. So we're just gonna- By August, call it it July one. till the end of September. September. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, she, they have to have an event open to the public by the end of September, but they don't have to consistently stay open five like days a week. Day, right. right. So if you just, you can still sort of have your peak weekend and then do October feast and still like trickle into full yep. operations. We could do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I said that out loud to you. So now that you'll feel this obligation to be open. Yep. Monday through Sunday. Good. But ideally, maybe just Mondays because nothing's open on Mondays. <laughs> oh, all of our I know you're, well, yes, you're right. We're <laughs> always open on Mondays. And now we're open on Sundays at the market. So <laughs> make sure y'all come by. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I do pay, I do go on Mondays. <laughs> okay, I, I will. Oh, so is your thought we really want you to make a motion? Sure, yeah, I'll make a motion for um, a 90, day 90 day extension. Beginning July 1. Beginning okay. July 1. I'll second that. Okay. Is there any other discussion? Or have we beat that up enough? <laughs> okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. And it passes. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Okay, Good luck. I'm going back to work. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't this a nice But break? the engine's <laughs> out there. I will come by the station and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the kindergarten. Maybe she'll bring you a loaf of bread. <laughs> okay. Arrow number 25-22-23-6-2022 by city clerk submitting various license applications. And uh, seven minutes before the meeting, we got the stuff that we needed from watershed so we are recommending that you grant all licenses on the ro okay. i need a motion i'll make a motion that we grant all licenses on the ro second any discussion all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed nay chair votes aye motion passes okay now we can have our little field well, well, our next uh, speeding date will be on the 13th and we'll i will not be in agenda Oh, okay. I will be at a, I lost my I'll be in the state, but on an island. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need do need to do that. <laughs> Can we do met, next meeting date adjourn and then go out to look at the fire truck? Yeah, you should adjourn yeah. and then when you go out to look at the fire truck, you can look at the fire truck, but you can't talk about city business. Okay. Huh. But you can talk about the fire truck. Sounds fair to me. It's okay. already purchased, so yeah. <laughs> Mark your calendar. Next meeting date will be July 13th, and Kathy will let us know if we're in room 106 or upstairs. In the yeah, it'll houses. be upstairs. They're going to do presentations for the licenses. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I look thrilled. Yeah, we're still. I actually business. enjoy this. Yeah, I won't be here. Won't, okay, she won't be here. Um, I need a so motion to I adjourn. Can. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye, and we are adjourned. Mm -hmm.